Hi everyone, so I'm back again uh, today with a science video and this is going to be the first of I think probably four parts. So there's a few um, different approaches to you know possibly um, treating muscular dystrophies that um, I wanted to go into and give my thoughts on and explain about um, you know how practical they are or you know what time frame they're liable to um, you know be realistic for them to actually develop um, but then I realized that in order to do that I need to give a little bit of background on the way that um, the structure and function of muscles actually works so that's what I'm going to do in this video Okay, so first, um, you know, you may have, uh, you know, learned in, you know, biology or from, you know, reading articles or textbooks. Okay, so you have, um, you know, cells uh, divide into two. So the original cell is called a parent cell, and then each of the cells produced by the division are called daughter cells. And most of the time, uh, the two daughter cells are pretty much identical to parents the parent cell. Okay, um, but for muscles, things are a little bit different. Um, the parent cell typically that's dividing in a muscle is what's called a satellite cell. I'll go in uh, just a bit into why it's called a satellite cell. And when it divides, it normally divides um, in an asymmetric manner so that the two cells that result from the division are different from one another. Um, one is a satellite cell, just like the parent. Uh, the second is a cell called a myoblast, which then might uh, divide another time. Um, okay, so the first division is referred to as asymmetric because the two daughter cells aren't the same, but then if the myoblast divides uh, a second time, then that is a symmetric division because uh, the two cells that it produces are the same. So out of the two divisions, you get um, one new satellite cell and two myoblast cells. Okay, so uh, the structure of muscle, there's uh, three major types of muscle in our bodies. Uh, what I'm going to talk about here is what's called skeletal muscle, which are the muscles that we use to, you know, move different parts of our, you know, bodies, you know, arms, legs, trunk, neck, around. And it kind of has a unique structure. Uh, unlike most tissues, it isn't made up of individual cells, each with their own, you know, nuclei, which contains the, the cell's DNA. Instead, uh, a muscle fiber in skeletal muscle is one sort of giant cell, which is called a syncytium, which has um, basically it's a bunch of cells which are all joined together. So the resultant, you know, mega cell has many different nuclei um, you know but they're all they're all a single cell you can go from one nucleus to another without ever crossing from one cell to a second one okay um, the other thing is that once a muscle fiber is formed the nuclei don't ever divide uh, the muscle fiber you know, doesn't um, split and form two muscle fibers. So instead, this is where the satellite cells come in. Um, they produce myoblasts, as we saw a couple slides ago. And then if the muscle uh, decides that it needs to grow because it's getting, you know, worked really hard or, you know, needs to bulk up and generate more force, uh, the myoblasts that are produced by the satellite cell divisions join the fiber. And then, uh, so the fiber um, gets more nuclei and actually becomes larger. And that's the way that, the, um, that a muscle grows. So if you start deciding, okay, I'm going to start working out, 
um, that's what your body's actually doing. Uh, your satellite cells are dividing to bulk up your muscles. Now, the thing about muscles is they use a lot of energy. So, you know, we're kind of evolved to, you know, not um, require more food than is absolutely necessary. So if you're not using your muscles, your body says, oh, I don't need this much muscle. I'll just make my muscles smaller as an energy conservation thing. So this is kind of one of the things if we're trying to uh, build up our muscle or combat a muscle disease that is working against us. Okay, now what happens if the fiber has a problem and dies? And sometimes this happens either through, you know, injury or disease or, you know, some, some other cause. Okay, so um, if the muscle fiber dies, the satellite cells to the rescue again, they um, divide to produce myoblast, just as they would if the um, you know, muscle was bulking up. Okay, then the myoblast uh, fuse together to you know, form, it's not really a muscle fiber yet, but it's this sort of long uh, structure which has now the nuclei from all of the different myoblasts joined together in a single cell, and this is called a myotube. And uh, you can actually do this with myoblasts in uh, a glass dish and watch them fuse into, you know, form the beginning stages of, you know, a muscle fiber formation. Okay, so then uh, the myotube starts to mature, starts to become more like real muscle. Uh, so for a while, the, um, the nuclei say, stay along the center of uh, the fiber that's starting to get formed. And this is actually something that's uh, looked at in a muscle biopsy. Uh, if you have a disease and fibers are dying and getting created again, uh, a lot of times you'll see a large number of um, fibers with, that are, you know, usually smaller than normal, and they have their nuclei in the center, you know, rather than, you know, as they would be in a mature muscle fiber around the edges. So. Um, that's a little bit about you know how um, muscle you know muscles regenerate themselves if they're damaged and also uh, your muscles you know grow in response to um, you know exercise or just uh, the normal process of growth so you know really muscle um, regeneration and development is all controlled by stem cells, um, which actually adds a few wrinkles to um, you know, the idea of actually treating muscle diseases by stem cells. So I'll go into that um, you know, in the next video, but you know, I thought it was important to just give you know, some of this uh, basic background on muscle physiology uh, you know, to uh, get to a starting point. So, uh, hope you're all doing well, and um, I will talk to you soon. Uh, be well, everybody.